Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims 3 building video. What? How strange you might be wondering. And yeah, it is kind of strange. Uh, this, so this build, as the title may suggest, is King Tower, which is actually the hotel from the game The Herbs Sims in the City, which you may or may not have noticed I've been playing a lot of lately. I'm posting all the streams on the YouTube and they're pretty damn long. But anyway, so this is a, basically I'm trying to recreate the tower uh, exactly uh, as it is in the herbs and it's not too big it's a 12 by 12 uh, size floor plan and it's about five five floors above ground and one underground one basement level so we're recreating that now i was originally planning to do this in the sims 4 and some of you might have even seen that because i streamed i streamed all of this live streamed it in real time uh, you can actually watch it in real time as a stream on my twitch channel which will be linked down below if you go to my website jamesdanner.yt and then you can go to my twitch channel directly from there also follow me on all other social media platforms like twitter instagram facebook all of the above it's great i also have a couple of other youtube channels so you should subscribe to those too uh anyway that's my little shout out but anyway yeah i live stream all of this and we started in the sims 4 very quickly realized that that's going to be an issue for a couple of reasons sims 4 only has four levels above ground we need five it also does not have elevators it, it does from city living but not elevators the way you can use them like in the sims 3 it also doesn't have a spiral staircase which we also needed for the build it also um doesn't have like constrained floor elevation which we actually did use a few times in this um so yeah we very quickly realized the better game to build this in is the sims 3 so that's what we're doing and you might actually recognize the world that i'm building in and if you don't uh, this world it's actually fantastic it's probably one of my favorite worlds from the sims 3 it's called a lunar island it's built by uh, an amazing creator called the sim supply you may have heard of him uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's a lunar island. It is the Sims 3 world I made years ago, um, which I haven't touched since. Basically, we never finished it. Like, we, we finished the, the map. Like, the map was done, but I didn't finish building houses. There's a lot on it. Uh, this is not like an official... I'm doing air quotes, official Aluna Island build, because uh, for those of you that have been around on the channel for a while, you know, like I was building up all the lots and then I would post a lot and you know, I'd be like, hey, this house goes on this lot in the world. Uh, this is not one of those. I'm just building in this world because as you may or may not know, The Sims 3 is a very laggy game as it is. Uh, so the smaller the world, the better, because the game lags less. So we just built in a smaller world. Oh, this is something else The Sims 4 didn't have, which we needed a lot of. It's the stage tool. The stage tool, super useful, because uh, there's a lot of places in this build that actually use the stage so that's a really fantastic little thing that we could use here it also so the sims 3 has five levels that you can build on which is great uh, but the fifth floor actually has elevator shafts on the roof which would technically be the sixth floor like if you if we built another wall uh, so it doesn't actually allow you to build higher on the roof. You'll see it a little bit later on. I'll explain a bit more then. Uh, but we are able to do a little bit of a workaround, which, again, would not be possible in The Sims 4. I really, I don't understand why The Sims 4 doesn't just have a cheat for more levels. Like, why can't I just be like, hey, uh, allow building level 500? You know, like Sims 2, you could build up to 255 levels, like, with a cheat. Like, it's ridiculous, and I don't, I think people probably just did it for the lols at some point. But other than that, it was... It was great. Like, it was something you could do if you wanted to. Um, Sims 3 doesn't have that cheat either. Like, I, I, it'd be nice, but obviously they're not going to add it now. But Sims 4 still has potential. So shout out to uh, Sims 4 developers. Let's get a level cheat. Let's also get in some stages. Let's also get in spiral stairs. Um, I highly doubt we're going to get functioning elevators now because they've already done elevators. And as I've said before, usually once they visit something once, they're unlikely to do it again. They might patch it and that kind of stuff, but they're probably very unlikely to make elevators the way we have them in The Sims 3, which kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, oh, look at the elevators. Look at it. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, it doesn't look like anything like the, the building in the game, but that's fine. So I was using, I had the, uh, in the live stream, I had the uh, Nintendo DS game of the herbs running, and I kept going back to it and referencing it. Uh, so if you do want to watch the live stream, you can see us, we'll swap over to the game every so often. Obviously, I've cut it out of this video. This is purely just building as a regular build video is. Uh, so we're getting all the colors and all that. Uh, look, I'm going to be honest, it's not a very attractive building, but that's not my fault. It's what it looks like in the game. We're building it based off the colors. I mean, once uh, once we finish the building and we do the exterior, we'll, we'll decorate the courtyard and we'll make it look nice outside, but it's still going to have the, the, the game colors. Uh, which, as you can see already, are starting off quite interesting with a, a very, very uh, light kind of turquoisey blue. No, it's not really turquoise. It's more of an aqua or an aqua. It's more of an aqua kind of blue, you know. Um, well, aqua blue? 
why am I saying awkward? It sounds really weird. Aqua is how I would say it. I remember one time when I was saying aqua, because that, that's just how we say it here, by the way, just for the record. I was saying that, and then I was talking to one of my friends. This is years and years and years ago. This is like 2010, nine. No, it might have been nine, 2008, nine. And he's like, why do you say it like that? I'm like, that's just how we say it. And then I was like, when people always say stuff like that in the comments of like of my videos as well, they're like, um, no, it's pronounced like this or something. I'm like, I'm just like, oh my God, have I been saying it wrong my whole life? But then I'm like, no, hang on. Everyone around me, like in my area, like in Sydney says, well, not everyone in Sydney would say it like that, but you know what I mean? Like locally, that's how it's pronounced, right? So I always, I always get worried. I'm like, oh my God, have I been saying this wrong the whole time? Well, it's like, there's it was, it was the whole thing about, um, and this one actually came out recently because I saw a comment on it. It was about um, pot plants uh, or as a lot of, I think the US, people in the US and probably elsewhere as well, you guys call them specifically potted plants. But here we actually just say pot plants because they're in a pot and it's a plant. Whereas uh, then the misunderstanding comes along and it's like, oh, he's talking about pot plants. Uh, and it's like, okay, cool. <laughs> cool. Not, not what I meant. And then, uh, then I actually started saying, uh, I think after that originally, I think that was in um, one of the future builds of The Sims 4 that I did. And then I was like, all right, I'm just going to start saying potted plants. On, like just going to make an effort to say that instead. But that's, you know, it's just one of those little colloquial differences in the world. It's quite, it's quite interesting. It's quite unusual. It's quite different. Anyway, so we've got the five floors. You can see we have the elevator shafts on the roof. So we we actually normally as you can see we can't build um we can't build walls up here like it will not let us build on another level uh but the way you can do it is if you use this roof when i do it properly you'll see uh this roof here that has a floor and once you do that you can actually place a freeze on the roof with the cheat place freezes once you've done that you can use constrained floor elevation to raise it up to the height of a regular wall and then boom you've got a whole nother floor how useful is that Something you could never, ever dream of doing in The Sims 4. <laughs> Basic, well, basically, for a few reasons. There's no fifth floor in The Sims 4. There's also no elevators. There's also no freezers. There's freezers in the sense that you can put them, decorate the walls with, but not like these kind of freezers. I, I, this is what I want for The Sims 4. We need the stage tool back. We need freezers, like these kind of freezers. We need another floor. Let's go up, let's go up to five floors. Let's do it. Let's, let's, break, let's break the fourth floor. I guess we could say the fourth wall. It would have been great if I could say, let's break the fourth wall, but it's not. We, we need the floor. We need to go up high, you know. Almost, almost worked out lovely. Anyway, so uh, what we're doing now, uh, we're basically matching the colors and the patterns and the fences to the in-game build. This actually took a long time. Like this, th oh, by the way, this build is not done. I probably should have mentioned that at the beginning, but you can probably tell by the fact that it says part one. This build is nowhere near done. I started this stream being like, oh, this build is not too bad. Like it's... Because it, it's a 12 by 12 build, like it's not very big. It's it's five, sure, it's like six floors, including the basement. But most of the floors are fairly, they're fairly like empty because it's a Nintendo DS game. So there's not a lot of stuff actually in there. So in terms of like furnishing and that, I was like, oh yeah, this won't take too long. Like it'll be pretty, it'll be, be pretty straightforward. But oh my Lord, I underestimated how long this would take me because it, it was mostly matching like the patterns and the colors. And then also finding items that are similar enough that we can substitute. So on the roof of this building in the herbs, the game, there is a time machine that sits on that little pad. Spoiler alert, if you ever want to play that game, near the end there's a time machine. Anyway, it sits up here, and yes, there is a time machine from The Sims 2, Sims 2, The Sims 3 into the future, like there is an actual time portal, which I guess would make more sense to place, but I was like, it doesn't look cool, because the time machine is like the, the time machine from the movie, which I don't actually know, was it time machine... IMDb. Is that the name of the movie? I feel like it, the time machine. No, that's 2000, 1960 maybe. Is this the movie? Is this the one that has like the, yeah, it's actually just called the time machine. Like it's that time machine from the movie, the time machine. That's what it looks like anyway in the game. Um, so I was like, there's no, there's no actual like time machine in the game that looks like that. So I was like, let's just get a freaking Batmobile kind of car. Oh, it's called the Simmobile and we just colored it the same. So we had a bit of fun. This, we're taking some creative liberties in this game, you know? By the way, doing this bloody great flooring took me so long. Uh, anyone from the Twitch stream will know that that took forever. Thank God it's sped up in this. Otherwise it'd be, see, there's a time portal. I was like, eh, it's kind of lame. Uh, I was like, eh, let's do, I was like, oh, let's use this. Let's use this, it's way cool. Like, look at this. So we got the gold, the red, and the white. Time machine. <laughs> And I really wish um, there was a DeLorean in the in the Sims 3. That'd be cool. I, I guess we'd probably like download a custom content one, but I don't want to use any custom content in this. I'm also not using any store content. I just have all of the expansions and stuff packs. Uh, no store content, no custom content. 
Um, so using these little lights as like kind of little landing pad things, because there's a, in the game there's a couple of lines there. So we're, we're trying to be pretty accurate to the actual, uh, the building in the game. So that's why we're sort of, sort of replicating a lot of it that way. And then of course taking some creative liberties, like I said earlier, because obviously some things just cannot be managed. It's just not possible. Um, like for example, I wasn't originally going to do, um, a window washing, uh, platform thing. What do you even call them? A window washing plat thing. Let me Google. Window washing platform. What is it called? Is it actually just called a window washing, a window cleaner? Like, well, that's the person. Window cleaning platform, maybe. I mean, it comes up if I search window cleaning platforms. So I'm coming too far off. Let's see. Um, high quality mobile manual scissor lift platform for window. That's a scissor lift. A steel material building glass window cleaning... Uh, lift electricity platform all right i mean platform I, I didn't seem to do too far off anyway so the point is i i would i wasn't originally gonna do that uh because i was like how the hell are we gonna do that in the sims like how are we gonna do that i was like okay let's try it so we just did a little platform out there we got a little fence around it because that's kind of what it looks like and then we're trying to find like an item that would because it has these these metal beams that hang above it and i was like oh my gosh these archways look at those i was like they are perfect especially once we recolor them and make them look like metal and i was just going through it seeing if there's any other ones there was some that looked better but they didn't fit like it just wasn't going to work so i was like okay let's just recolor that to a metal make it look a little bit rusted a little bit older and then I was like, this is spot on. I was like, this is really cool. And then we actually use, I think it's um, the wall lights from Into the Future to make it look like there's cables dangling down because, I mean, it, sh it has to have cables. Otherwise, how would it move up and down? That's the whole point, right? Um, so we use this little guy. We just recolor it, make the middle of it uh, like a black. So it's like a cable. Uh, get the same color from those, and then we hang them down, and it actually ends up looking pretty damn cool. Uh, I was pretty happy with it. I mean, the, the stream chat seemed to like it as well, so everyone, everyone seemed to be like, hey, dude, that's pretty cool. Oh, we spent, we spent like five years on this bit here, though, because we were trying to find, like, I was, I was hoping there was, like, just wooden plank items in The Sims 3. There wasn't. I spent five years looking for it. The, we, we tried using shelves, but they don't, the shelves don't go low enough, and you can't place them off the grid, even holding down alt, it just doesn't work. The best option in the end was to use that rug, but I spent about five years trying to find anything else that would look better, because the rug was okay, but it just, it wasn't, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it as much. I kind of wish we could have got a little wooden plank. I would have been a little bit happier with that, but I mean, it's a bunch of wooden planks, so there you go. That, that sort of sits there, and then I put like a little barrier that's like, hey, uh, watch out, don't walk there, you're going to probably fall and die. Um, yeah, so we did that. And then I think now we're going to go through and do the, the hanging cables, which I think end up looking pretty damn sweet. At least I was happy with them. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Um, so yeah, this is coming along pretty well. We pretty much get the roof, like we spend most of our time on the roof, as you can probably tell because we're about 13 minutes in now. So most of the time on the roof. So the roof is actually done um, at the end of this video, which is great. <laughs> and it, I think you can tell why I thought, hey, this probably won't take too long because the roof, like the roof is done. But there's just not that many items up there. That's why I was like, hey, this build probably won't take too long. Ooh, I was wrong. I was wrong. Um, oh, and before... I probably should have mentioned this at the beginning because I always get comments on this. The Sims 4 hotel build that I started months and months and months and months ago. People are like, hey, do that. Why? Why aren't you doing that? Where is it? Why aren't you doing it? I mean, the answer is really simple. It's real simple. I just got bored of it. It's like, it's just... I'll probably finish it eventually. But I have to feel inspired to do it. Like, I was inspired to do this build because I, because I played the Herbs game so much recently. And I was really loving it. I was like, and then I was like, oh my god, I should rebuild this in the in the Sims. It'll be so much fun. I was Yeah, again, I was originally going to do it in the Sims 4, but it just wasn't going to work. So Sims 3 it was. And I'm having a lot of fun with it because it's, it's I don't know, I'm inspired. That's why. Insp the thing is, that that's why I haven't been building much lately as well. It's just, you need the inspiration. Otherwise, you're just forcing yourself to do something you don't want to do. And it's not going to end up good. It's not going to be as good as it could be. People won't like it as much. And it just won't be good. Like, as simple as that. If you're not feeling it, it's not going to be good. You got to do something you enjoy. So taking a break, that's why the channel at the moment, if you're watching this at you know, the time it's kind of released, we're doing so many throwback spin-off Sims games. We're doing all these DS games. We're doing GameCube games of Sims. We're doing all these different things at the moment just because I'm trying some different stuff. Uh, this was really cool, actually. I had a lot of fun with this. So in, this is the penthouse in the, in the building. Uh, and in the pent, this is like the living room. It has this really interesting rug design or like flooring design, which obviously we can't 
just replicate in the the sims 3 so we're trying to we're trying to recreate it uh using some rugs and some floor tiles and making it look uh as close as possible so we ended up with that little pattern that you saw there which was pretty close if you do compare it to the the ds version it's not too bad now this one by the uh the door you got a door you got a gym this one by the door was actually in the in the herbs game it's um, a dragonfly but there's no dragonfly so we use the butterfly instead the butterfly did it um yeah we used a butterfly uh because it's like that that's as close as we can get it's creative liberties there you go and we kind of give it that sort of uh interesting rock kind of texture so it kind of looks like see-through wings onto the rug below that was the idea behind it anyway um yeah so all the colors and patterns and all that are based upon the the herbs game oh and the furnishing in this is pretty funny because because this is the penthouse in king tower uh, in the herbs game if you've been watching the streams and if you haven't been i highly suggest it it's a great game and great content because i'm the one commentating and so you know it's going to be good but in the uh, in the herbs game this is the this is the apartment i own and i furnished it with all these random items because the items in the game are kind of random and you just put them down wherever you need to use them for example this room we use as a wood carving room it has a pinball machine an arcade machine and a golden toilet in this room, like in the herbs. And uh, obviously not all of those things are available in The Sims 3, but we put down what we could and it is ridiculous. And the rest of the apartment is going to be ridiculous too. And I I don't know, it, it's so stupid, but it's so Sims that I, I loved I loved doing this. It was, it was so much fun. Like I was trying to find like something, a, a good sort of woodworking table that we could use here. Uh, as far as I'm aware, there's no pinball machines. So we, use, we just use two arcade machines instead. Um, but yeah, I had so much fun just choosing these items and placing them down. I'm like, this is so dumb. It is so dumb, but it's great. <laughs> it's great. Um, yeah, so that, that's, um, like I said, inspiration. I'm feeling it and I'm feeling it. I'm having a lot of fun. I can't wait to do more of this. Make sure to follow me on Twitch, uh, James Turner YT over on Twitch. Uh, again, you can link down through my website in the description below. Follow me through that. Uh, because we'll be, we'll definitely be streaming more of this and we're going to be streaming a lot of other stuff too. We're doing a lot of, um, well, we'll be streaming the, like the, the Sims busting out over there again, eventually soon, hopefully. And we're going to be streaming a lot of other stuff too. And we have been, we're going to be doing Sims three. I played the, the Sims three ambitions live the other day. That probably won't end up on the channel. That's, that was just me having fun over on Twitch. Uh, so that might even just be a regular Twitch series that we do or something like that. So make sure to follow me over there for more content. And again, if you do miss them, you can actually just watch them back on Twitch. Like within, I think they stay up there for like three months or something. And then they disappear. Because I'm not going to upload all of them to YouTube. Because that's crazy. I just want to upload the herbs because I love it. <laughs> and I want people to see it. The herbs is good. People need to discover it. They really do. Um... Oh, and I guess oh, I should have mentioned this at the beginning as well, because this is also the other comment. People are always like, play the herbs on console. It's better. And I'm like, first of all, don't slag off the DS version. The DS version is amazing. It's great. Second of all, I haven't played it on console. And third of all, I own it on console because I bought it recently and we will be playing it. So there. Uh, so there's that. Uh, but yeah, I love that. The DS version is great. It's great. If you have any... If, you know, if you're looking for a Nintendo DS game to play and you haven't played Herbs, or even if you have played Herbs, go back and play it again, because it is great. And it's it'll be really cheap now as well. Like, I don't think it would be very expensive. I can't imagine it being expensive because it's such an old game. Let's see, the Herbs DS on eBay. Uh, it's, uh, it's not as cheap as I would have thought. Oh, that's, oh, no, that's Game Boy Advanced. Oh, no, that's Game Boy, yeah, Game Boy Advance. You can get it on Game Boy Advance too, by the way, just as a heads up. I think that was a more popular version. Hey, here's a screenshot. Uh, there's only like three screenshots here at the end because there's not a whole lot to see at the moment. That's the tower from the outside at the moment. I did it as like isometric screenshot there, so it kind of looks like it in the game. But thank you for watching, guys. Uh, there's no download link for this just yet because it's not done, obviously. But there will be more of this coming shortly. Look at that little window washing bay. That's my favorite bit so far. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. We'll be doing some more builds of this in the near future and maybe the hotel build eventually. But Make sure to follow me on Twitch, like I said, 20 times earlier. But thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time and have an awesome day.